Yes, nice to meet you too. And I saw your blog and blog and Instagram. I yep. really like your videos. Thank so, you. It's also like camera vlog for you. So <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and the congratulations for your engagement. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was really recent. <laughs> sure, so my name's Mandy. I run a blog called Ministry for Style and I'm from Sydney but I travel a lot. I cover everything from lifestyle, fashion and travel. Yeah, I actually like Seoul. I love Seoul and also Tokyo in Japan. I go back to Tokyo all the time but I've been everywhere from uh, around Asia in Thailand, Singapore, Indonesia as well as recently Morocco, the Maldives and United States. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So last year I've been trying um, for a whole year, um, pretty much I hired a personal trainer. He's really, really good. We do a lot of fat pinching as well for measurements, so it's quite accurate. And also um, he has reinvented my whole diet with organic food and healthy eating like steamed vegetables and you know, like chicken breast, all the really boring stuff. <laughs> but um, after a year of doing that and training, you know, seven days a week, I really didn't see the result that I wanted to see. Um, not much, not enough to you know get the waistline that I wanted. Yeah. Um, honestly, not really. I think that was one of the last things um, I wanted to think about, and that's why during the year between when I discussed it with Doc Panda Korea and now is um, I really tried everything. I told you with the PT, with the dieting, exercising. You know, I tried everything before um, going down this path because. The first thing I think of liposuction is uh, that it's for really, really big people and um, I really didn't think that um, average size, sort of just a little bit of stubborn fat was uh, worth the like, liposuction. It seems very serious but, um, you know, actually I found out later on that a lot of people like around my size are doing liposuction and it really helped define the toning and muscling um, of like the shape of the body. So that's, um, yeah, that's why I'm here. No, I did my own research. Um, since I've decided to go on um, this liposuction journey, I've actually reached out to a couple of people and some of my friends have told me about their story and you know, these are the people that I least expected because they are quite um, fit and skinny as well. So um, they only had areas like their thighs that they wanted to really get done, but they had a very positive experience. So that led me to feel more safe about this. I think like with exercising, um, it helps you lose weight overall, but I was finding that, you know, I was losing weight in all the areas that I was pretty happy with, like my boobs, <laughs> but I wasn't finding that the stubborn areas were losing that much weight and that's when, you know, that's when I really seriously thought about liposuction because um, you find that, well, for me at, at least, um, I actually gain weight mainly on my stomach and that's the first place I gain weight, but you know, that's also the last place I lose weight, yeah, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. funny, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's usually the face and the breast that lose weight yeah. first, and that's the last two places you want. <laughs> yeah, so there's always risks, but, um, you know, my first question was, what if it goes too deep and hits, you know, like my organs and that kind of thing. But when I went to consultation over there in Australia, they actually told me it doesn't even go deeper than one centimeter. So it's quite safe, it seems, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, I always like to research everything before I make a decision on, especially big surgeries. So I did the same thing um, two years ago when I did a surgery as well. That took me about a year and a half to research and really think about whether this is something I want. Um, at the end of the day, it sort of comes down to what makes me happy and um, you know, it doesn't really matter what other people's opinions are. It's, uh, personally, I'm a big believer of you know, what makes you happy. Liposuction is that um, I did all the hard works of trying you know, the lipocapitation, fat freezing, dieting. Um, you know, I had my personal trainer actually cook me three meals a day for a whole year. And that's not, <laughs> that's not cheap, you know, I, I really try everything. Uh, yeah, definitely, yeah, so I did definitely consider everything, but at the end of the day, you know, I really want to feel confident in my body, and um, yeah, so like, uh, especially with my uh, wedding coming up, I wanted to fit really well in my dress and be very slim, have the right body and um, body shape that I want, as well as since the wedding is going to be in Bali, I want to be able to run around in a bikini and be confident with my body as well. So um, yeah, it's been a really long time since you know I've been really slim like that. So I think my body's just really stubborn with the fats around, like the stomach area. So I'm really glad you know this option is viable. <laughs>